Hello everyone! In this video we will show the features and the configuration of an Odoo module password manager, which was created by Fautools. Password manager allows you to organize safe password keeping and maintain an efficient storage structure. An innovative single view interface makes it easy to maintain and update passwords. Create password bundles for a partner or the whole department team. Manage passwords access rights and create extra passwords for extra security of your passwords vault. Search passwords for possible duplicates. A passwords bundle is a set of passwords combined by a functional area or a group of people that have the access to these passwords. You can create a passwords vault for the sales team, product managers, technical workers, or any other user group. Anyone can create a bundle for oneself or several employees. While creating a vault, you can also manage a partner's access rights and assign a person to update passwords. The creator of a bundle is always the administrator of it and has access to all the passwords. To create a bundle, Open the Password Manager app, click New, write the bundle's title, manage access levels, set up an extra password, add notes, then click Save. All internal users can open the Password Manager app, but they see only the passwords to which they have access rights. Only people that are mentioned in the bundle settings have the right to see the bundle. There are three types of access rights. Admin rights can change the app's settings, create, edit, and delete passwords. Full rights can't change the settings of the app, but has access to all passwords. And read-only can only see passwords to which the access is given, can't edit or delete them. The creator of a bundle is always the administrator of it and always has an access to it. You can set users' rights while creating or editing a vault. By choosing the access level of the users or user groups in the column Access Level. It is possible to give access to a user or a group of users, for example to the sales team. In this case, all users that are in the sales team will have the access to the passwords bundle. If a person belongs to at least one group of users that has access to the passwords bundle, then he or she also has access to it. The tool introduces a few security layers to minimize the possibility of data leaks. All passwords are symmetrically encrypted. It means that to decrypt a password, plotters should know the exact decryption algorithm and the vault decryption key. You can add an extra password to a password bundle. This way you will have to enter one password to have the access to all the passwords that are in the bundle. If a user has access rights to this vault but doesn't know the password, he or she will not be able to enter the vault. You can also set the time for which the bundle is accessible without entering the password again. After this time, the password manager will not let you edit, copy or see the passwords and will ask for the password again. The session period after successful login is set up in minutes. This is especially convenient if you work from someone else's computer. You can set a different password for each bundle or leave some bundles accessible without entering a password. Vault Extra Password is also kept in the database encrypted and might be changed by a bundle administrator. The minimum is 3 minutes. If the bundle password is set, then the password will be decrypted with the help of the bundle sold and entered password plus bundle key. When the bundle password is changed, all password keys will be re-encrypted. You can also update the encryption key and salt of the bundle manually by clicking on the button Update Encryption Key and Salt as you edit a bundle. For extra security, you can set the app to tell you when it is high time to change passwords. This way, for every chosen period of time, 
the app will generate an activity that there is a necessity to change a password. You can set this activity to all valid passwords or only to the most important ones. Don't forget to assign a responsible for the password's update. Just put a tick by the user in the column responsible for password's update. To exclude some passwords from notifying about, start creating or editing a password and open the tab Info and tick the box No update is required. Then click Save. Also, you can open passwords from all bundles. In this case, if some bundles are protected with extra passwords, the system will ask you to enter all of them. To see all the passwords and their tags, just click all passwords in the interfaces header. To edit an existing vault, click on three dots in the right top corner of the vault. Here you can also choose the vault's color for convenient navigation. In the passwords bundle, you can create as many passwords as you need. There aren't any mandatory fields, so if you don't need some fields or don't have an opportunity to fill them all, then you can fill in only the ones that you want or really need. For example, if you use an email to sign in and not a username or a phone number, then you can leave these fields empty. To create a password, open the Password Manager app, open the Passwords bundle where you want to create a password, Click New, write the password's title, choose or add some tags for an easy search, choose or create the type of the password, it's available if you have Password Manager custom fields installed in your Odoo. Write the username that you use on the site, type your password if you already registered and have it, or set the auto password generation in the app settings. You can also generate a password by clicking on the arrow icon on the right in the password field. There, choose the length and contents of the password and click Save and Close. Add the URL of the site, an email and the phone number used for the site. Add a partner if you want the password to be connected to a contact. Optionally, in the tab Extra Security, Choose users or user groups that will have the access to the password. The setting influences only the users with the read rights to the bundle. If the fields are left empty, then the password is considered global and is visible to anyone with access to the bundle. If at least one field is filled in, then the password will be available only to the stated users or user groups. The user that has created the related bundle will have the right to the password disregarding its settings. In the Info tab, tick the box No Update Required, if you don't want to generate activity to change this password, if you enable the notifications in the bundle settings. If you remove the tick from the box Active, the password will be archived and hidden. In the Notes tab, write your notes or attach a file if necessary. As you create a password, its strength is automatically calculated in real time. The strongest passwords get 4 stars, the weakest get 1 star. This allows partners to see the security issues and cope with them. To edit a password, click on the password that you want to edit. Click on the password's title on the right side of the interface, change anything the way you like, and click Save and Close. The Password Manager app has a built-in password generator. It is possible to generate passwords based on chosen length and requirements. In the settings, you can choose to generate passwords automatically as soon as you open the password creating wizard. There, you can also set the default password length and contents, or you can do it manually each time you open the password creating wizard. As a result, you get an automatically generated password that is evaluated in real time. You can set any default length for generated password. 
you can always change it manually in the password wizard depending on the site's password requirements. All passwords are symmetrically encrypted, which means that to decrypt a password, plotters should know the exact decryption algorithm and the vault decryption key. The innovative single view interface is implemented in the password manager. This allows you to manage passwords and tags, copy credentials from the same interface without opening the passwords form. When you open a passwords bundle and click on a password, you see that your interface is divided into three parts. The main part with passwords in the middle and two functional parts with sets of control elements on the sides of it. The first functional part provides you with the opportunity to sort passwords according to various criteria. Select all found passwords, add tags and show all passwords by tags. You can sort passwords by name, creator, partner, create date and by write date. Click on the arrow sign to see passwords in the reversed order. If you click on the Select All Passwords button, you will see the details of all these passwords in the third functional part of the interface. To organize passwords, you can create some tags. To add a tag, just click the button Add below the text tree and write the title. To edit archive or delete tags, right-click on the tag and choose the action. Move text by applying the drag and drop functionality. This way you can add text hierarchy. In this case, if you'll pull a tick by the parent tag, you will see the passwords from all text that it includes. You can manage all available tags from passwords bundles and create new tags by going to configuration tags. The main part shows passwords cards where you can see the passwords titles, tags, the linked contacts, and the password strength. Here you can also add the password to favorites and remove it from favorites to find the most important passwords quickly. Also, here you see if an update is required. As you hover over a password card, a three-dot icon appears in the bottom left corner. Click on the icon and choose the color to highlight the password. When you choose several passwords and then open another tag, your choice will not be reset. The third functional part, the one on the right side, appears as you click on a password card. Here you see the usernames, passwords and URLs of all chosen password cards. You can easily copy them from here by clicking on the copy icon. Click on the I icon to see the password. Click on the open in a new tab icon to be redirected to the site that is written on the passwords card. It is possible to add some more sections to the third functional part for extra convenience. For that, go to configuration, settings and scroll down to more sections. Here you can add actions and delete the ones you don't need. Drag and drop the actions to choose the sequence of them. If there are some duplicates found, it is possible to merge them into a single record. To that end, do not forget to add the mass section Merge Passwords on the configuration page. We will talk about it later. It is possible to combine the passwords into an additional portal vault on the base of the passwords bundle to share them with specific partners. To turn on password sharing with portal users, open the Password Manager app, go to Configurations, Settings, tick the option Portal Vaults. By default, only a password reference, username and password key are shown. Choose what other information should be shown. It is possible to share URL, email, phone and notes. Scroll down and find the section Mass Actions. 
click the line and add the mass section share in portal. Then click Save. After that, in the left navigation panel will appear the Vaults hierarchy tree. And another configuration menu, Portal Vaults, will be shown as you click Configuration in the Sys tray. Within a password bundle, it is possible to create an unlimited number of Portal password vaults shared with an unlimited number of ODO partners. There are several ways of creating a Portal Vault through the special menu Portal Vaults and as you select the passwords and apply them as action sharing portal. To add a Portal Vault through the special menu Portal Vaults, go to Configuration, Portal Vaults and click New. Type the vault's name, choose the related password bundle. A Portal Vault is always associated with a single bundle. It isn't possible to add passwords from different bundles into a single portal vault. Each portal vault is obligatorily secured with a password. All keys are kept encrypted and might be decrypted only after entering the vault password. Generate the password for the vault by clicking on the arrow icon or type the password manually and confirm it. In the field Portal Access, choose the portal users that will have access to this vault. Each partner may have access to multiple vaults. Optionally, define the validity days for a temporary sharing to auto-archive password vaults. Optionally, choose the maximum session time, that is the time after which you need to confirm the password again to work with passwords cards. The minimum is 3 minutes. Optionally, in the tab Shared Passwords, choose the passwords to store in the vault and share from the selected bundle. You can add notes in the tab Notes. Then click Save. Each bundle internal user can create or update any portal vault linked to his her bundle. To add a password for a vault, select the required keys and trigger the mass action sharing portal. In the opened pop-up window, you will be able to choose an existing portal vault or create a new one. As you create a new bundle through the pop-up window and add partners to share passwords, optionally tick the option Send Invitation to send an invitation during sharing. The email template can be edited through the technical settings portal vault invitation. Keep in mind that the action doesn't create portal users. The portal access should be granted from a partner form view. You can find it in action grant portal access. When the internal password key is changed, the changes are applied automatically in the portal as well. That is, all shared passwords are recalculated and therefore portal users always have access to the up-to-date data. Internal users have full rights to all vaults which bundles they can read. As an internal user opens a password bundle, the list of portal vaults, if any, is shown on the left side of the interface. Use the search bar above the portal vaults list to find the required ones quickly. Right-click on the portal vault to rename, edit or archive it. Tick the vault to see the included passwords. Portal users can open password vaults from the specially introduced entry, Passwords Vault, on the home portal page. Portal users have access to all portal vaults in which they or their parent company is specified in the field Portal Access. Take into account that a user should have portal rights that might be granted from a partner form view. In order for the portal user to open a portal vault, they should have not only the right to the vault itself, but also know its password. The tool lets portal users show, hide passwords keys, navigate and search by the shown columns. When you create a password, you can link it to a contact that it belongs to. 
This will allow you to search all passwords of the user. Also, you can open all the contacts' passwords from the contact profile. There are two ways how to link a contact. Fill in the field partners when creating or editing a password. Or choose a password card, click Update Partner, choose a partner and click Save and Close. Keep in mind that if you link a contact to a password, that doesn't mean the contact would have rights to it. To give rights for a password, it is required to share a portal vault that contains the password with the contact. To find all passwords linked to a contact, go to Contacts, choose a partner, click the smart button Passwords, and you will be redirected to the Password Manager app and will see all the passwords of this contact. If any bundle is secured by the extra password, you will have to enter it before being redirected to the partner's password cards. The app introduces a configurable system to find password duplicates. As you save a new password, the app searches for similarities in existing passwords. Duplicates are defined according to the rule which you set up. A rule is a field according to which an item is considered as a copy, for example, an email or a name. A password is considered a duplicate if it satisfies any of the criteria. Any field or combination of fields on the password card can be considered to distinguish whether a password is unique or a duplicate. The module compares the chosen fields of each password with other passwords and searches for matches. In order to be considered as a duplicate, the passwords field should be absolutely identical. Even a slight difference will result in considering a password as a unique one. Only in the case of char fields, it is a comparison without taking into account capital letters. To choose the fields to consider passwords as duplicates, open the Passwords app and go to Configuration Settings. Find the section Duplicates Search. In the field Password Duplicates fields, select the fields to search for password duplicates and click Save. To see all the potential duplicates, apply the filter Potential Duplicates in the Passwords interface. You may search within a particular bundle or among all passwords in the menu All Passwords. When you register a new password, check if there is a warning above the title. If it is shown, make sure you do not create a potential copy of an existing key. The warning is highlighted in red color. From the warning text, you can find out how many potential duplicates were found according to your criteria. Click on the button Potential Duplicates inside the warning to see the potential duplicates. If there are some duplicates found, it is possible to merge them into a single record. To merge passwords, select all the passwords that you want to merge, choose the mass section Merge Passwords in the right navigational panel, in the wizard as the password to merge, choose one that would be the prime source of the details. In case of conflicts, its value would be prioritized. Choose keys that would be used as a source of complementary details, for example, details that are missing in the main password, and click Save. Starting from the password to merge values, the tool would check the fields reference, bundle, username, email, URL, phone, last password update date, and linked partner. The app would select the first found, not null, value. The app would also accumulate notes, attachments, and text from all merged record values of custom fields would be chosen according to key sequence, starting from the password to merge. Take into account that tables, in particular one-to-many and many-to-many -many fields, would be left as they are in the password to merge. As a result, the app would archive all the merged passwords and enrich the password to merge. 
This way you can merge any password keys which aren't necessarily duplicates. Password Manager Custom Fields is an optional add-on that allows you to add an extra field to the form of the password. The tool also introduces complementary passwords typology. Show fields for passwords only of specific types and do not show for others. Custom password fields might be imported and exported. The rights to create custom fields belong only to auto administrators. To add a new type of passwords, go to Configuration, Password Types and click New. Write the type you need and save it. To add a new field to the passwords form, go to Configuration, Custom Password Fields, click New, write the field label, choose the field's information type. For example, let's create a custom field of the drop-down type. Click on the button Add Selection Values based on a string to add all options divided by a comma. Choose the password type, choose the location of the field, custom tab, left column, right column or after notes. Put a tick in the box required to enter a value if you want to make the field mandatory. And now, if we start creating or editing a password card and choose our type, frequently used, the related custom field will be added. I hope this video will be useful for you. Feel free to contact us to try the module in the demo instance. See you in the next videos.